Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm here in the Thonburi side of Bangkok to take a look uh, at the Wat Rakhang, which is known as the Temple of Bells. The reason why this temple is called the Temple of Bells, I will tell you later. So if you want to join me throughout this journey, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe. Okay guys, so we, now we are at the ordination hall of the temple. It is absolutely beautiful inside. It's like the chandeliers look beautiful. The main uh, principal statue of Buddha, it is illuminated with different lights which makes it really bright. It's absolutely beautiful and the paintings all around, gorgeous. So right now we are in the ordination hall. I would like to tell you a bit about this temple. Um, it was built during the Ayutthaya period, but uh, soon enough when uh, King Taksin came over here in, the, in this area, in the Thonburi side, he actually renovated it and uh, made appointed this temple to be a royal temple during that time. So yes, um, it is now considered to be the royal temple during the Thonburi uh, period before um, King Rama I took over. So yeah, looks really nice. And I'll tell you a bit more about the temple outside the, the story of the bells. So um, let's go, let's explore a little more. Okay guys, right behind me is this beautiful, magnificent stupa. Um, it is also known as Thrap Prang in Thai. Uh, it is the first original stupa that was made during the Ratanakosan period. So it has a lot of meaning amongst the Thai people over here. And it's absolutely beautiful. I really like how there's like little like trees and like, like plants coming out of it. It looks really beautiful. Okay guys, so we now have stumbled upon this beautiful architecture. This is known to be uh, the Ratanakosin style housing and it was, things were built like this during that period. It's absolutely beautiful to look at. Wow. It's a beautiful garden here. And the tree that you can see to my right is Sara tree which is the tree where Siddhartha Gautama or Buddha was born in. Wow. Okay guys, so we are outside in the main area and the landmark of uh, the temple, which is the bells. I'll tell you a bit about how this temple is called the Temple of Bells or Wat Rakhang, because in, during the Thonburi period, it used to be actually called Wat Bang Wa Yai. So, um, uh, like you know, during the reign of King Rama I, his sister actually took uh, responsibility in renovating the temple. She, uh, it was built dur uh, during her patronage. So, um, she actually, when when the whole like renovation was going on, people actually found a very ancient emerald bell 
um, in this uh, area. So due to that, this temple start, was started to be known as uh, Wat Rak Hang, which is also known as the Temple of Bells. So yeah, that's a very interesting story. And yeah, this is not exactly the one uh, that was found. It, I think it's kept somewhere else. But uh, yeah, it's a very la uh, historic landmark uh, for the Thai people and they are like very respectful of this place. So which is nice to see. There's a lot of people just like walking around, which is nice. So yeah, let's move on to the river. Yes. All right, let's go. As you can see guys, there's a beautiful view of the Chapraya River, also known as Menam, or the mother of rivers. And wow, looks absolutely beautiful. And one very popular way to get here to this temple is to take the boat. As you can see, there's a pier. And usually if you're taking the public transport, you can always get down at Wang Lang Pier, which is nearby. And wow, it's mesmerizing. Okay guys, so the last stop is this huge statue of Luang Poto. He is a very legendary um, uh, figure over here uh, amongst the Thai people. He's very well known and highly respected. He was the principal monk of this temple. He was very uh, well respected and that's why the whole uh, statue was built. Uh, for him and people usually come here and this is I think this is the first thing people see when they enter the temple So this is really nice and the statue is facing the river right behind me Right in front of me. Sorry. So there you go. This is the whole river a beautiful view of the um, The river the city and everything so this is really nice and you can see at, right behind me is the royal temple, the ro sorry, the royal palace. So wow, it's a good, it's a good uh, position to see a lot of things. So yeah, it was a really good experience, honestly. Like I loved it. It's very calming. I feel very like you know, uh, you know, blessed and very, very happy. And uh, yeah, it's a very beautiful uh, like temple. The architecture is amazing. And right now they're going through like some construction, so it's like we cannot show you the complete experience. But it's a very good place to be in. A very beautiful temple, and would definitely recommend you to come here if you a tourist or if you have never been here it's a, a must visit place so uh, i hope you guys like this video and don't forget to click like share and subscribe bye, bye.